All right, guys, today we are learning about order of operations. Now, there are two different main ideas. The first main idea is to evaluate the numerical expressions uh, by using order of operations. And the second one is during using algebraic expressions. And obviously, the difference between numerical and algebraic is numerical just has numbers, while algebraic has letters. It's not much different, but I'm going to show you both ways. So vocabulary is just order of operations. Most of you should already know what we're talking about with this. All right, what is order of operations? So here's our key concept. We have several different steps. On the bottom, we put, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Many of you know that. P stands for parentheses. If you notice on the top, it says expressions using grouping symbols. There are more than just parentheses. There are also brackets sometimes that are used. So that's why they use grouping symbols there. Step two is excuse. That's exponents. Evaluate all powers. Anything to the power, squared, cubed, we have to deal with those first. Step three, multiply and divide in order from left to right. So multiplication and division, my dear. Doesn't matter which one comes first, multiply or divide. It just matters from left to right. It could be a bunch of divides and then a multiply, or a multiply and then divide, or switching on and off, just left to right like we read. And then the last step is add or subtract in order from left to right. Much the same for Aunt Sally, subtraction left to right. All right, let's try an example. So here we have 48 divided by 2 cubed times 3 plus 5. You'll notice that there are no parentheses or no grouping symbols. So we can go ahead and skip that first step. So then we have to go on to the second step, which is exponents. So we're going to be looking here at that 2 cubed. So 2 cubed here, uh, we do make it, of course, 8, because it's 2 times 2 times 2. Now we're looking at this expression here. After we evaluate the powers, we're talking about uh, my dear, so multiplication and division. So we have two different symbols here. We have a division and a multiply. So we are actually going to do the division first because it's left to right. And so we do get that 6. 48 divided by 8 is 6. And then we have to continue still doing this because we still have multiplication to do. So we're going to do 6 times 3, which then gives us the 18. We're done with our multiplication and division, so we're down to our last step, adding and subtracting Aunt Sally. And we just have an addition here for an answer of 23. All right, let's try another one. This one actually has some grouping symbols, some parentheses. So we're going to have to do those first. We're going to have to do what's inside the parentheses. So that 8 minus 3 and the 3 plus 2, we're going to do them both because they're separate. We can do that. So 8 minus 3 is 5. 3 plus 2 is also 5. Next, we're going to worry about exponents. Well, we really don't have to because there are none. So then we're into... Uh, doing some multiplication, again, left to right. Remember, these parentheses are just multiplication symbols. So this is really 5 times 3 times 5. So we're going to do that 5 times 3 to start with, which is 15. And now we're going to multiply the last one times 5 for 75. There's no addition or subtraction, so we don't have to worry about it. All right, last one of this type is a fraction. Uh, the interesting thing with this is we're going to have to do them separate. We're going to have to do the numerator and the denominator separate, the top and the bottom separate. Uh, we're going to treat them very much as two different problems. We're going to solve them together, obviously. No parentheses, so we're going to start with our exponents. So notice how we wrote this out so that we have two separate problems that we're kind of working with. So we're going to do 2 to the 5th, which is 32. And we're going to continue on with just the numerator. We're going to get the numerator done first. So we're going to multiply here 6 times 2, which is 12. And we're going to finish this up with Aunt Sally giving us 20. And now we're going to go ahead and deal with the denominator on the bottom here. So we do the 3 squared, which is 27. Next, we have some multiplication to go ahead and do here. That gives us 15. And then we're going to do all of our subtractions. 27 minus 15 minus 2, giving us 20 over 10, which we actually have to reduce down to 2. Not too difficult, but it is kind of like two separate little problems that we have to go ahead and do separately. 
That's how do we do it with numerical operations. Now, what about algebraic? Let's try an example like that. Here's the algebraic expression. Notice how there are x's and y's and z's. Now, they do tell us the value of it. So this just becomes one additional step. We're going to take an additional step by putting in the numbers into the variables that we have. So that's the first step that we go ahead and do here. We go ahead and take the x and put a 4, the y a 3, and the z a 2. And now it's just like our numerical ones that we just got done doing. So we're going to go ahead and start with our parentheses here. And inside the parentheses, we're going to do exponents over the subtraction. So 4 squared is 16. We're going to continue with our parentheses here, 16 minus 3, which is 13. And then we can go ahead and continue the rest of this. This, again, remembers the multiplication. We have an addition here, and we have some exponents. So we're going to do the exponents. So that's 4. Now we're going to do our multiplication, finished with our plus 4 for an answer of 30. And that's it for today. That's the end of our lesson. Thank you.